Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a curry recipe and this curry goes excellent with uh, pulka, roti, naan, butter naan and rumali roti. So this curry is with makana, full makana. We are going to make an excellent full makana and potato makani curry. So to make the dish, here we are going to add some oil and also very little of butter. You can add around one cube of butter. This is a makani gravy, so you need add little bit butter. Add shahi jeera and in this, if you want, you can add finely chopped onions and even the tomato puree also. But today what I did is, here is the onion paste and the cashew nut paste. I have taken one onion and some cashew nuts. I put it in a blender and I made it into a nice fine paste. This we are going to add it into the oil directly. And also into this, we are going to add the tomato puree. This is the boiled and I have removed the skin and I made it a tomato puree. You can add around half or one cup of tomato puree. Depending upon how much gravy you want, based on that you can add the tomato puree. And we are going to add some green chilies. Just cut it into two and add the green chilies. And some ginger garlic paste. And we are going to add Kashmiri chilli powder. This gives a nice red color to our dish, so I'm adding the Kashmiri chili powder. And we're going to add very little of turmeric also and some coriander powder. All the spices you need to add and then you need to cook this till all the raw flavor is gone and also the oil needs to ooze out. Till then we need to cook this tomato and the onion paste and the cashew nut paste which we added. We need to cook till we see the oil on top. So it will take at least 4 minutes. You can just cover this with a lid and you can cook it. Otherwise sometimes it may spill on you. So just cover it so that you know you can avoid spilling it. Here I forgot to add salt. I just added the salt. Now let it cook for another 4 minutes. So friends here you can see this is nicely cooked and this has become into a nice thick paste and the butter and the oil is also oozed out. And now we are going to add more of water because we want this to be nice and thick and cooked then we are going to add water initially don't add water otherwise the cooking process will become you know very late and now we are going to add water sufficient water it's a gravy so you can add more of water and now take the full makana here is the full makana that is lotus seeds add it into the gravy in no time this will get you know soaked in it and also here I have the potato which I boiled it and you can see I have taken a nice uh, small spoon and I scooped it like you know small small uh, scoops so that we can match it to our uh, full makana you can make it even more smaller also I could make this much only because I had little bit bigger scoop and now add these potatoes also into this and let this cook for around 3 to 4 minutes. We already cooked the masala so you need not cook further just 2 to 3 minutes should be good enough and reduce the flame and we are going to add some kasuri methi and some garam masala. So here I have some garam masala very little and here I have some kasuri methi. What I have did is I have taken a pan. I slightly reheated the kasuri methi and just crush it like this and always for makhni gravies you need to add kasuri methi this will enhance the flavor and before switching off the flame just check the taste and add some cream and switch off the flame. These type of dishes I make it regularly for parties and for any gatherings. So friends our curry is ready in no time. The potato is already boiled so it is not taking any time. Even the full makana is perfectly you know uh, became nice and soft. In the last just take some cream and switch off the flame and our simple full makana and potato makhni curry is ready to serve with pulka or roti. Let's taste this with full makana in the spoon. Mm. 
an excellent buttery, buttery flavor because we added more of butter and the cream and lot of cashew nuts. Mm. The full makana has become nice and soft. Sauce is super tasty, slightly spicy. Mm. Very excellent, just like our restaurant style. Dear friends, just try it out. I'm telling you, you will also love it and you will also enjoy like how I am enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed this simple session of making full makana and potato makhni curry. If you like it, make it, share it and also feed your family fresh food. See you in another session with some more recipes.